Uh, what's good, y'all? It's your boy Dev. Y'all know who it is. Long sleeve Dev today. You know what I'm saying? I'm just chilling today. But um, I did a Kanye video last week, and I was kind of, you know, on the edge. You know, really on the the fringe of putting it out because I was kind of just like I wanted to get more information before I actually put it out there. So I scrapped that video. And I waited, you know, another seven days or what's or not. So I was like, okay, you know what? It's Kanye. I understand. Like, but then I don't understand. I know I need to say something. Everything I said in that video was true. But at the same time, it's Kanye. So it's really hard because it's Kanye. That's that's what I want to talk about. So we're going to talk about the album in a minute. But let's just talk about the mental issues. I don't want to really get too much into it because a lot of people, I know they're they're looking out for all the, you know, the, the, the artists that passed away in the last two to three years. It's really crazy, man. I think that in my whole life of being alive, you know, my 29 years on this planet, I would not, you know, I, I don't think I've ever seen a, you know, um, consecutive years like how I've seen where artists were just passing away, whether it be from depression, drug use, um, you know, just, you know, death from from other people you know that are envious of you i've never seen it you know as crazy as this where you know this amount of you know celebrity or hip-hop artists or rap artists or you know artists in that nature are just kind of just you know going one by one so i think that it's only right especially in this climate that we live in in this you know era of social media the era of the internet that people are going to worry about kanye west people are going to worry about what's really on his mind and you know they're going to worry about um if you know are we losing you know one of probably arguably the greatest artists or um, rap artists or hip-hop artists of our time. You know, like a lot of y'all can say whatever y'all want, but Kanye has probably one of the greatest, not if not the greatest, um, you know, catalog in hip-hop history. So I just think that a lot of people are really just worried, and I understand. You know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not mad at a lot of people, you know, having, you know, the connection today. Or Kanye, I've been listening to Kanye since I was 13, 12 years old. You know, he's been, since I was in middle school, you know, and uh, Through the Wire was the first time I've heard Kanye. So... When you really think about like Kanye West and it, you know, like the, the 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 problem with me is, and I'm not downplaying any mental health because you know, like I said, I got my own battles. Everybody has their own battles. I understand that. The problem is, it's just Kanye West, and Kanye's known to kind of go through these antics, and he's kind of known to do this right before his album came out, uh, comes out. And again, his album was announced. Didn't drop on Friday. We're going to speak about that, in, in, you know, in a few minutes. But didn't drop on Friday, and it was understandable. You know, Keeping Up With The Kardashians was also coming out. And it, I think it premiered this, this last Friday. So it's kind of just like, you know, like it's the normal Kanye. So that's why people kind of overlook. But I feel like out of every time, you know, as the years progress and every time we've seen Kanye go on his, you know, Yeezus season or, you know, is, is, is Kanye, you know, is Ye, is Ye, yay time we always see i feel like it just increases dramatically like you know he broke down and we saw you know if you watch the um you know when he was in charlotte uh you watch the i, I wasn't in charlotte i think it was, in, it was in north carolina but you watch that go down and how he was you know breaking down and the things that he was speaking on and one thing i do want to speak on that a lot of people kind of just don't understand because this is where i can relate to kanye a lot of times kanye says shit and he really doesn't he doesn't have a public speaker. So everything that he's saying makes sense in his head. But when it comes out, it comes out in spurts in different times. Like, I'll have a con. You guys seen it for me, right? I have a con I'll have a conversation with you guys. And then I'll come back like 20 minutes later in the video or even on stream. And then I'll still talk about some of the shit that we talked about 20 minutes ago. And then I'll start, whatever comes to my mind, I let it out. That's how I am. I'm not really good with words. But my thoughts are genuine. They're really, they. I mean good. But sometimes it doesn't make sense. But that's just who I am, and I, 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 I understand that completely about myself, and I'm not scared to share that with you guys. And a lot of you guys that watch me now now understand it didn't make sense at first, but, you know, that's just Dev being Dev. Like, it is what it is. So I feel like I'm not trying to give Kanye the benefit of the doubt of certain things he said, but when you really look at what he said with the whole Harriet Tubman thing, everybody looked at his service level got really mad at it, right? But then when you look at it, when he what he really meant by it, and it was kind of just like, okay, he explained it. And people bro actually broke it down, and it was kind of just like, okay, this is what he meant by it. technically we're still slaves, but you shouldn't knock down one of the most, um, you know, uh, black figures, you know, women, female figures in in history. You you don't knock her down and downplay what she did like it was, you know, what I'm saying like a, a walk to the goddamn Publix or a walk to Target. You just don't do that. Like it's, I I I I understand completely where everybody was coming from, and that's where you gotta. Kind of just draw the line where people are just like, yo, this man Kanye is crazy. Now, my thing is what with 
is is wild is if Kanye is saying that he needs help, right? This is my thing. If Kanye says that he needs help, then I don't understand. Like he said in his previous on graduation, Big Brother, people never get the flowers while they can still smell them. I just don't understand why that concept just does. Why people always do this? It literally never stops. Everybody says that we oh they make fun, they make fun. Somebody passes away, <clears throat> and now they're just like oh now they're mourning, now they're mourning, now we're all sad, now we're all sad. When in re like we could have saved Juice World. That's what the problem is. We could have saved Juice World. People could have saved Juice World. But everybody's like give me down, give me down, give me down. People could have saved Lil Peep. People could have saved Mac. People could have like people don't understand that. Sometimes you, people could have saved, you know, Wreckful. People could have saved Blue. People could have, like, people don't understand that, you know, sometimes not being mean, sometimes just being serious for a second, sometimes just giving somebody a hug, sometimes just asking somebody how their day was, sometimes saying, like, hey, bro, you doing good? Like, random person, hey, bro, you doing good? You know, have a great day, you know what I'm saying? Have, saying have a great day to somebody, you know what I'm saying? Like, opening the door for somebody, that can literally change somebody, somebody's lives for, you know, like, people don't understand that, that like, little things like that can just... Be a shift in the wind for some people. And I feel like there should be nobody that's always rude. No one got a stank face. No one's just like, I, I hate people like that. Because you never know when it's your last breath. You never know when it's your last step. You never know when it's anybody else's last step. And someone who is Kanye, who I've, I've always understood and always defended, was having a breakdown and people were making fun of it and making memes out of it. That's just the sad reality of the internet. I had a person I was just talking to through the DMs and I was telling her like she wanted to change all this stuff about empowering women and blah 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 and she wanted to just change stuff like you know you know splitting up the workforce with 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 social media and I told her I was like the internet is a dark place. There's that's one thing you can't change. The internet is a dark place and as much as we want it to change, it's just not going to change and I feel like Right here with Kanye, man. Kanye literally is breaking down, crying for us, and and at and, and you can see that he's going through it. Whether it's an answer or not, we need to raise awareness on Kanye, and he needs help. That's that's just what it is. But at the same time, some people like me as well, I am definitely guilty of it, are are having a hard time really kind of trusting, not trusting that, but understanding that because you know it's kind of like um you know it's like cry wolf, right? If you guys know about you know uh, the the fairy tale or not the fairy tale, what is it fairy tale? Uh, not fairy tale, folk tale, nursery rhyme, whatever you want to call it. Um, you know, boy who cried wolf. You know, he was basically bullshitting the first five times, and then after the sixth time, it was kind of just like, nah, the tiger ate his asshole. You know what I'm saying? So that's how it was. And, and he tried to cry, and no one wanted to hear it because they thought he was lying. So I feel like it's gotten to that point now where a lot of people are confused, including myself. And I think that, you know, it's always like this when an album, because he goes ghosting, and then when an album comes out, it just always comes out. And I'm not knocking down that he has bipolarness because that's also another thing. You know, he's probably having family troubles, as he said with Kim. I still don't believe that until I see it. But for him to say that he's having family troubles as well, talking the craziest, talk about North, I was kind of just like really scared. And I was talking, I was like, yo, somebody just actually needs to take the microphone this time. Let Kanye be Kanye, but just take the microphone. We don't need the public. Don't need to hear this because the public is just gonna try to warp it and you know and flip it. And that's kind of just one thing I didn't want to hear. So, but me with Kanye, man, I just. Like, it's, it's really hard. It's really hard. And I feel like the only people that can really get to him are the people close to him. I think people close to him. But the part that we could do as as fans, if you're a fan of Kanye, is kind of just sh not, not shut the fuck up. But if you're not going to say nothing positive, just shut the fuck up. Like, it's really not that hard. So I think that, in my opinion, that's what everybody should do. But you know what? People are going to do what they do, man. It's the internet. It's the dark internet. It's the dark web. People don't give a damn. People could care less about your feelings. And they're going to talk what they want to talk under a uh, Naruto Hokage 69 AV. You know what I'm saying? No one really cares at this day. So uh, that's just one I want to say about that, man. I I I'm worried about Kanye, but I think I'm a little less worried than you guys. But I'm not knocking down his mental health issues as well because I understand we all got our demons and we all go through our own trials and tribulations. Now, I do want to talk about the album. Let's get back to the music. I do want to talk about the album because... I am very upset about Kanye West. All right, look, my thing is, I'm, I'm, I'm not mad. <laughs> I understand the antics, right? And for some reason, I don't know why it's, but it, it, it always happens, right? It's kind of just you saw the pain picture, right? I'm just sitting there like this. I'm looking. I'm, I was literally. I don't know why. As much as a great weekend it was for music, as great as as a, as a week it was for music, I just don't understand why. All of us as Kanye fans, I'm telling you to the, to the Kanye stands and fans right now. I'm speaking to y'all. I don't know why we sit there and be like, yeah, Donda. Yes, Donda, and we sit there and we just like at twelve oh one, like this nigga ain't drop. What? What was we expecting? What was we expecting for him to do, huh? Like, like, tell me, we done seen this for for what? I think the last what, like, 
out of his catalog, nine albums were late, right? I think I saw the statistic. Nine albums were late. And for the most part, even the albums don't release at 12.01. So we sitting there at 12.01 like this. I don't even know why we do it because we, it's like we know the bullshit coming. It's like, you know, them dumbass girls, right? That be do with the dudes. The dude cheat on her and the dude come back. She's seen the dude cheat on her. But then she'd be like, so you gonna take me back? She'd be, I'm mad at you, I hate you. Yes, I'm gonna take you back. It's kind of like that shit. Like, we know that the motherfucker gonna cheat on us, but we still gonna, you know, we still gonna take him back. I don't understand why I sat there with so much excitement. I actually had hope. It's crazy, I had half hope. I wouldn't say I had high hopes. I had half hopes. I'm sitting there like, you know what? Maybe he might drive at 12 one like a fucking fool. Maybe he might drive to a 12 one 12 one will be here. I'm smiling like, 12 one come around. Sad as shit, bro. I, I. My th <laughs> it's no, you know, it's no excuse. I'm a fool. I'm a fool. I'm the girl that get cheated on. That's what it is. I'm just the girl that get cheated on. Cause, cause I literally thought that we was gonna get this shit. First, I, I thought that it was coming. Maybe I'm a fool. Anyways, I just think that if you want my expectations on the album, um, he had a lot of Yandi tracks on there. I don't know if you guys listen to Yandi. I feel like Yandi is better than Jesus is King. Um, I don't know why the reason. Well, the reason a lot of people was floating around. The reason he didn't release Yandi was because. Yandi was already leaked, and he was like, fuck y'all. Basically, kind of what I do, like, no, y'all want to release my shit? No, I'm not doing it. And another reason why was because it was like, okay, um, you know, I'm going through this spiritual kind of cleansing. I'm going through this spiritual, you know, journey, and I don't think that's, you know, goes along with the message what I'm trying to do. So I feel like, okay, like, since that was there, I was like, all right, I'm, I'm kind of cool with it. I, I enjoy Yandi. Yandi was one of my favorite projects of 20 what 2018 it was yeah 20 2018 or 2019 you guys know the year um it was one of my favorite parts i listened to the leak the leaks are still on youtube just look up not yandi on youtube and it is yandi irony the irony there it is yandi uh hurricane you guys know aliens that trick with Nicki minaj and then uh get back and then click back with a get back yeezy down yeezy <laughs> That is my shit. And I, I would not be mad if he actually throws the Yandi on there with some new tracks on there because I felt like Yandi just needed a little bit more polishing. But for it to be that raw, man, it was amazing. Having it kind of the same color as the Yeezy, as the Yeezus, uh, um, you know, album cover, but just being purple and lavender. I thought that was a nice touch, man. I think that was pretty cool. Look, my opinion, I feel like if Dondor does release, it's going to release sometime later because he is flying other people in, like Lil Baby. Apparently, they said Future was also there. You know, he had Dave Chappelle, Justin Bieber was, you know, visiting. So I feel like... If he's actually, you know, kind of just getting everybody hyped for the album, keeping up with the Kardashians just came out. We all know how publicity works. Bad, bad publicity is still good publicity for you guys that don't know. You guys are not um, around social media. I feel like that's actually ways to, like, like, for some reason now, bad publicity is the best publicity nowadays. I think it's the best publicity because I feel like when negative shit happens, a lot of people over the internet like to fiend over negative shit. So I feel like that's why, you know, it, it does what it does. Now, I don't think Kanye, the thing is about Kanye for me, man, I don't think he needs to do any of the antics to, to sell because he is Kanye West. His name is going to sell, period. I feel like if he dropped a surprise album, the album would still do like 300K, period. Like minimum, it would do 300K. So I don't understand why... He has to kind of just, I, I don't know, do what he does. But again, it's Kanye. You can't teach geniuses. Geniuses are geniuses for a reason. And they are, are never normal. So it's going to be what it is going to be. Um, but my, my expectations about Donda, I just, look, Jesus King was an experimental album. What he wanted to do with And then he did the uh, the choir. I thought that was pretty cool how he had all those elements, you know, bringing kind of the gospel sound and, and mixing it with rap and having kind of a Christian album because he didn't curse at all. There was no cursing. There's no, as you got, wait. Why do people say swearing? All right, I say cursing. Maybe that's a Florida thing, but people be like, yo, I don't swear. I was like, bro, swear? I just swear to God. I just said swear to God all the day. I just said swear to God. What do you mean? You don't swear? Because I swear to God all the time. Like, what? They were like, no, swearing means cursing. I'm like, oh. Fucking weirdos, bro. Like, it's called cursing. I don't understand. Anyways, uh, yeah, I'm like, so they're like, he wasn't swearing on the last album. So I think that if that's what the case is right there, I was like, I'm cool with that. I'm like, yeah, fine. Have that album. But can we get back to the nitty gritty? Can we get back to the Yeezys? Can we get back to the to my beautiful dark twisted fantasy? Can we get back to the old samples? Can we get back to 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 to, to Kanye just talking his shit? Can we get back to that? I uh, please. That's all I miss. I miss Kanye production and kind of having that kind of this soulful kind of just vibe. I miss that. Or some experimental shit where it's in your face. I miss that. That's all I'm asking for the album. That's my album expectation. Because at this point, Kanye has done everything he needs to do. He's only had one kind of just fail album for me. Not even fail, just a missed album for me, which is Jesus is King. It's not even a bad album. It's just not for me. So I feel like if he can, like, give us something, you know, like, 
that that reminds me of the old Kanye. Not saying that it needs to be old Kanye. Just like give us, you know, some some remnants of what he used to do. Like some Al Green and you know some Ozzy brothers in that bit. Like you know, give us some of that. That's all I'm saying. But to next time, it's me with Dev. Don't forget like, subscribe, share. Blah, blah, blah. Let's try it again. To next time, my name is B-Boy Dev. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Follow me on social media if you want to hear it. And yeah, man, let me know what y'all feel about the Kanye album. Let me know what y'all feel about Donna. If y'all think Donna's going to be fired, get in the comments below. Let me know. Um, mental health, again, uh, mental health definitely needs to be an awareness nowadays because a lot of people are going through it more than ever. The music is definitely not helping either. I always say, man, if you listen to sad music all day, guess what? You're going to be sad. That's just how it works. That's just how life works. You listen to happy music all the time, guess what? Nine times out of ten, you're always going to be happy. You know, that's just how it works. So you listen to motherfucking school. Uh, you know, I can't say that. All right, you listen to <laughs> you listen to music. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm gonna edit that out. Anyways, don't forget follow me on here. Till next time, it's me, Boy Dev. Uh, I already said that, and um, yeah, man, we out. Peace.